y'all. Today, we're gonna be making kitchen sink cookies. And y'all, it's because we're gonna throw everything but the kitchen sink in there. Now, to start off with, you're gonna need two sticks of softened butter. Now, softened, not melted, but mine wasn't softened, so I melted it. Still came out fine, but the original recipe does say don't melt it. So, you do you, but just, there you go. Do as I say, not as I do. Then you're gonna take a half a cup of white sugar and three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. And then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of mix this around. Now, I'm gonna have to get me a stand mixer, y'all. I'm just gonna have to break down and do it because this would have been so much easier and quicker without having to start and stop a hundred times with my poor little old hand mixer. So, you know, you know how it goes. So. We're gonna add two eggs to this, but we're gonna add them one at a time. So you're gonna add one egg in and mix that up till it gets kind of incorporated. It doesn't have to be mixed perfectly. And then you're gonna stop your hand mixer. Or if you have a stand mixer, which I will soon, coming soon, y'all, I promise. Then you just, you know, drop them in one by one. And then just get those eggs good and mixed up in there just really good with whatever mixer you have. This is actually a stand mixer bowl that I'm using. So does that count? Probably not. Okay, moving on. So then we're gonna add two and one quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're gonna add um, a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon, excuse me, half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna mix this up. Now, I, I have heard of these before. I want to say I didn't hear them called kitchen sink cookies. I feel like we used to call them monster cookies. I might be remembering that incorrectly. Somebody may correct me in the comments and feel free to do so. But when I came across these, I thought, boy, that's some kind of strange ingredients, but I bet it works together. And guess what? It does, y'all. And look, I forgot the vanilla, but there it is. Two teaspoons of vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> just add it in there, you know, in the beginning if you can remember. If not, add it now. Then you're going to go ahead and just scrape your little bowl so you can get your dough all down there in the in the middle. And then we're going to start adding our yumminess. So what we're going to do is add um, one half of a cup of toffee bits. These are just like the Heath Bar toffee bits. You just get them at Walmart. I'm sure they may have an off brand, but I had some of these. I didn't have quite half a cup, but that's okay. Then you're gonna take uh, one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Put those in your bowl. And then ideally you'll have some of the cute little mini pretzels, but I didn't have any. I had these stick pretzels and I was not gonna go out and buy something that I pretty much already had. So you're just gonna wanna break those up and put those right over into your bowl. And then take some plain potato chips. And the guy where I saw the original video for this, and I'll link that down below, he said to make sure you use like a good chip, like the wavy chips, otherwise they get so crushed up and they just kind of get lost, you know, in your cookie. So splurge for the good ones, y'all. So you're just gonna crush those up and dump those right over in there. And you see, I had a couple of big pieces, so I just reached in and just broke them up. It was fine, it was all fine, y'all. And then you're just gonna fold this together. Just, you know, try not to mix it too, too much and break your stuff any more than it's already broken, but just kind of get it mixed in good so all your cookies will have a little bit of each, you know, of the little ingredients in there. So then we're going to, and I think I forgot to tell y'all because you know I'm good about that, preheat your oven to 350, okay? So then you're just going to take your little cook cookie scoop, and I think this is like a, mmm... I'm looking at it, y'all, like the tablespoon size, not the little bitty one, the medium size one. And I was thinking, okay, I'll make, you know, a couple. Y'all, this made a billion cookies. I had to do three different cookie sheets <laughs> to get these cookies made. But um, yeah, it, it makes a lot of cookies, which, you know, maybe you guessed by the amount of stuff that was in the bowl, but I don't know why it just didn't register with me that it was gonna be this many cookies. But it makes a lot. 
So, but you can at this stage, if you don't want to cook them all, you can freeze the dough and then thaw it out and cook them later. That you can do that, you know, if that's what you want to do. That's perfectly fine. You can either shape them and then freeze them, or you can just freeze them like in a big, you know, container or whatever. Do however you need to, but you can freeze them. Just letting y'all know. So once you get your stuff on your cookie sheets, you're just going to bake those for about 12 minutes, and that's it. Once they come out, you let them sit on your cookie sheet for, you know, two or three minutes just to kind of let them set up good, and then just take them and put them on your little wire rack, and then that's it. Let them cool on down. Now, y'all, take a look. I'm going to show y'all the inside. Look how yummy and fluffy these are. They're not... Um, hard in the middle you know they're still chewy even a couple of days later they were still chewy i know this looks like a lot and the ingredients may seem strange but y'all trust me try this recipe you are gonna love these cookies the sweet and the salty and everything just mixes together perfectly i'm gonna pop y'all another video right up over here and i'll see y'all on the next one bye y'all